Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering a C-wire adapter. Now, this is an external C-wire adapter you would use for smart thermostats to power them up, okay? If you don't have that extra C-wire on the existing wiring in your wall, okay? Say you have four wires coming out of your wall. Well, you need a fifth wire, that C-wire, the blue wire, common wire it's called, to install a smart thermostat in order to enable Wi-Fi and all the extra functionality. And basically it powers up the unit, the smart thermostat, so it can function. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to run the smart thermostats for the most part at all or very limited uh, capacity or function. So in order to wire up this you know, AC adapter, C wire adapter, it's very simple. This is an external piece. It's going to go along your wall. You're going to have to staple it or, you know, you know, attach it to your wall somehow down your trim and to a, a wall outlet, okay? This is a 24-volt, 0.5-amp wall wart AC adapter, and it's got two wires that goes to the, th to the thermostat base plate in order to power it up. That's all you need. That's basically what I do here on the benchtop to do my review tutorials and how to thermostat videos is I use a AC adapter like this and wire it up to the base plate of the thermostat that I'm reviewing or doing a tutorial on. So I've become very familiar with this here. I use it a lot, but you can also use it, like I said, in your home to power up a thermostat temporarily. Uh, maybe in case, you know, just in case you want to maybe down the line, uh, you know, run a wire through the wall and have a professional do that for you. Uh, that way you can have it hidden. I highly recommend doing it that way. It's obviously the better looking method versus having this on your, you know, laying on the outside of your wall, kind of like hanging or taped or stapled to the wall to your trim. But uh, it's an option and I want to go through it. So I'm going to show you on this Amazon smart thermostat as well as the Google Nest third gen right here that I will go and show you how it's hooked up to the base plate and kind of what it does. But this one's already hooked up, so let's go plug that one in. I'm just going to plug it into the wall outlet and give it a couple minutes. I'm just going to move this out of the way. As you can see, it powered up. Okay, this is naturally hard to see. It's just, that's the way it is. It's very uh, opaque. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and like change modes, heating, cooling, fan mode. Uh, this thing is pretty much ready to go. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be hard to see on the camera, but I can see it with the naked eye. It's working and it's powered up, okay? And let me pop off the base plate and show you how this thing is connected. I'm just gonna unplug the unit just to be safe. And we're gonna pop off the base plate. If you don't know, this uh, Amazon thermostat is actually a Honeywell thermostat, okay? It's a Honeywell home technology. And as you can see here, this is a Honeywell UMP, UWP base plate. Okay, this is very common to see on the Honeywell smart thermostats. So it's very similar. Okay, so I have my, my leads broken off into two, so I split them off. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect this and show you from scratch what I got going on here because it's just going to be easier to see. Now, I have this split off here, okay, into two wires, the two red wires. I have the striped wire out of the two. This is the, basically, I'm going to call this the uh, the power wire, okay, just, just for, to make it easy. And I split that off. I soldered this into two just because I use this on my benchtop reviews and tutorials here. Uh, but you would not need to have this split off like this, or you, or maybe you, you do want to have it split off, and you could power up three things versus only two, okay? So when I hook this up, I'm going to take basically these two red wires, which is going to be the main power side. One's going to go to the C terminal on this, on this here, and the other is going to go to the R terminal, which is the... The 24 volts for the heating transformer, okay? Now, if I can just do this really quickly on camera, just like that, okay? So we have one going to the common, 
and one to the R. I just want to stick that in there a little bit more. It's just not going because of the solder. Okay. You get the idea. Okay, so that's what I have going on so far. So I have one to the R terminal and one to the C common terminal. Then I'm going to take the side that's not striped, and that's going to the RC terminal. Okay. The non-striped side is going to the RC, but if you only had this wire as a two-wire hookup, you would go to RC and C. Okay? That's how you would do it. You wouldn't have to have this R terminal hooked up. So if you only had two wires, I would put the, st the striped wire to RC and then the other side to C. And that there would power up the thermostat and allow you to use all your smart thermostat functions and everything else. But like I said, I have a three wire connection here because I basically split that off and basically branched out into two, powering up my, my R and my RC, okay? These are basically terminal, these two terminals here, R and RC are 24 volt terminals for the relating transformers. So it would get a 24 volt supply. Same thing with this common wire C terminal. That's what powers up your smart thermostat, okay? And it's as simple as that. You can have this AC adapter power up your thermostat externally if you have to. Okay, so here I have the Google Nest third gen hooked up with the C-wire adapter, the AC adapter that I've been showing you. Same thing, this thing is hooked up. I had to do a couple extra things to make this thing work, but this works just like the Amazon smart thermostat, those two wires you hook up and you're good to go and you can use this thermostat externally with a power supply. Okay, so this is it right here. Let me pop off the uh, base plate. I'm just gonna turn this off just to be safe. And let's go through this here. As you can see, this is still powered up because it has a battery. If you don't know, you charge these up from the, the USB back here. Okay, there's a little USB, you have to charge up. There's a built-in battery in these guys, rechargeable battery. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, but I do a separate video covering why those don't power up and, and how to fix that. But anyways, let's go over this just like the Amazon smart thermostat, okay? We have to hook up the C terminal and the RH and the RC, okay? This, this thermostat in particular is very fussy. You have to have all the wires hooked up in order for it to continue in the menu. Otherwise, it's just going to... Uh, you know, give you a, a, basically a roadblock and it's not going to allow you to use a thermostat at all. This is very fussy. Uh, it has to have all the wires that you tell it connected. Otherwise, it has a problem. That's why I have the Y and the W wires, the white and the, and the yellow wire hooked up here. But ignore those two at the top. We're going to talk about these here. So to power this up, you have to do the same thing. You would hook up to the C and the RC. But I, as I have it here, I have it hooked up to the C RC and RH, okay? These two wires are essentially the same wire. Uh, but if you, like I said, if you keep it two wires, like it is when you first buy this thing and then you wanna hook it up, you go right to the C terminal and right to the RC terminal and it will power up your thermostat, okay? The Google Nests are very picky. Like I said, you have to have all these wires connected for it to even proceed to the menu to use the thermostat. So it's a little bit of you know, more hassle uh, but they are nice thermostats. I do have other videos covering the Google Nest, so check that out. All the different generations. Uh, check out my, my thermostat playlist. I have all different brands and model thermostats that I cover in detail. I break it down into separate videos. Um, manual override, you know, setup, seven-day programming, factory reset, how to change the batteries, you name it. I have it all broken down into different videos. Uh, but that there is... The, uh, the AC adapter for these smart thermostats. Uh, let me just put this back. Okay. Like I said, you have the Amazon smart thermostat here, and then you got the Google Nest. These are very popular thermostats, uh, as well as the Honeywell thermostats um, that I cover. Uh, the T-Series and the RTH-Series, very popular. But 
this is how you hook up a AC adapter, and this is it right here, guys. Um, very simple device. You can have it powered up externally. You don't have to have a wire coming through your wall. Um, and maybe you want to use this temporarily before you go ahead and have a professional install a, a wire and run a wire through your house uh, to replace the one you have in the wall. Okay, it's very possible for them to do that uh, if you want to have that built-in C wire coming through the wall and to power up your smart thermostat. Um, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. But also I have another video covering this Honeywell C-Wire adapter. This is specifically made for uh, if you have a four-wire wiring coming out of your wall and you want to hook up a Honeywell smart thermostat or any smart thermostat, really. Um, this is something that goes in line between your furnace and your thermostat wiring in the house. This would be located at your furnace. But check out my video on this if you want to know more about this. This is another option. This is also a C-wire adapter, but this, this is more like an internal one, and this is more, obviously, an external one that you would hang on your wall and kind of neaten up and staple to the wall uh, for a temporary fix. Uh, but that there is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my thermostat playlist. I have a ton of videos covering all sorts of different brands and models. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.